Okay, so at the end of the last video, we had a data frame called mod specs, which looked uh, like this as it's printed to the console. It has 96 rows and five columns, and each row gives us the information that we need to specify a model that we want to run. Now we have this specification grid, the next step is to take one of these rows and use it to create a regression model and then extract the results that we need. We're only really interested in the coefficient for the association between cognitive ability and BMI, so we don't need to return the full regression model object, as this would include things like the data that was used to run the model. We're going to write the code out for one model first to be as general as possible so that it would work regardless of which row of the specification grid we fed into it. Once we've written the code once, we're going to turn it into a function, and that function will take a single input spec ID so that it can extract, extract the appropriate row from the specification grid and then uh, get the run the appropriate model and get the appropriate results. Again, it's easier to use spec ID than to pass all the information in separate arguments to the function, as this can get cumbersome, particularly where the number of columns in the specification grid is large. It is also more adaptable if we want to add further columns to the specification grid down the line. Let's start by setting spec ID to 1 uh, so that we have a particular row of data to work from. There we go. Next we want to use spec ID to obtain the relevant row from the specification grid. Here I'm just going to use the filter function to return rows where a particular condition is true. So we're going to take mod specs and then we're going to filter to where the column spec ID is equal to spec ID. Now this bit of code that I've just run isn't going to work. And the reason for this is that there's an external object called spec ID which contains the value 1. But then there's also a column within mod specs um, which has the numbers uh, uh, sorry, sorry. there's a column within mod specs with the column called uh, spec ID, uh, which goes from 1 to 96. By default, the functions within the tidyverse are going to use the column within the data frame rather than an external object. So this statement just says, give me back those rows where the column spec ID is equal to the column spec ID. If we want to refer to an external object, we can do so using the bang bang uh, operator, which is this exclamation exclamation mark. This explicitly tells R to look for the object in the external environment. So now when we run this, we just get one row back where spec ID is equal to one. Let's save this object to spec, the specification that we want to use, so that we can refer to it easily later. Okay, this is what spec looks like. Uh, we can extract spec, uh, columns from spec using the dollar sign operator. So to get the FUP, the age of follow-up, we can just do spec dollar FUP. To get the cog var cognitive ability variable, we can do spec dollar sign cog var. Now we're going to take the information contained in this single row of data to run a regression model. There's a few things we need to do. First, we need to subset the DF data frame to get back just those observations we need to run the model. That is the data from a particular cohort and follow up page. Second, we need to specify the model formula. Uh, that's the names of the outcome and the exposure variables and the sets of the covariates control variables that we want to add. Third, we want to run the model and extract the results that we need. In this case, the coefficient for the cognitive ability variable. Let's first subset the DF data frame. From the spec, the observations that we need are from the age 15 follow-up uh, for the baby boomer cohort. We can do this subsetting using the filter function. So we'll take DF and then we'll pipe it into filter. We want to keep where cohort is equal to spec cohort. This is given us back too much information. It's given us 30,000 uh, 30, rows but it's given us observations at age 15, 25, 35, and so on. We can add multiple uh, filter statements within one uh, function call just by separating with the, them with columns, uh, sorry, with commas. Uh, these are combined with ands. So we're gonna keep the rows that have cohort equal to baby boomer and fup equal to 15. Great, so now we've got back the 5,000 rows that we need. They're just from this age 15 follow-up. Let's save this uh, data frame as DF mod so that we can refer to it later. Okay, so 
the next thing we need to do is specify the formula for the model that we want to run. I'm going to use the glue package to do this because it's got a very straightforward syntax for constructing strings. Glue is part of the tidyverse but is not a core tidyverse package so it needs loading separately. So we can just use library and then glue to load it. The main function within glue uh, is called itself called glue. I'm going to create an object called x which is going to be a vector 1 to 7 uh, yeah, containing the integers 1 to 7. I'm going to quickly use this just to demonstrate how glue works. So that's x saved and then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. To create a string using glue, we just write out some text and then within curly brackets we provide the name of an object or we write a function. Glue will run R in the background and place the results that are within this curly brackets directly into the string. So for instance, if we use glue to create a string containing the mean of one to seven, uh, we can do that using curly brackets mean x and we can add some uh, explanatory text to that. So the mean of one to seven is four because within curly brackets is mean x, the mean of the object x is the mean of the uh, vector one to seven, which is four. We can use this uh, glue function to create model formulas. So we want to regress BMI on a measure of cognitive ability plus some control variables. So let's just have a quick look at spec again. So the first thing we can do is add in the cog var. So let's just do BMI curly brackets spec cog var. And let's just run that. Now you can see we've got BMI tilde cognom verbal. So we've got the right um, variable specified there. We also want to add some control variables and we can specify another uh, set of curly brackets. Do mod covars, double square brackets and then spec covars. So this will replace spec covars with basic. Mod covars basic will just be the uh, set of control variables uh, for the basic model. So now when we run this we've got BMI, cognom verbal, plus age, plus female, plus social class. And this gives us the correct formula string. We need to do one more thing though, which is to change this string uh, from a string to a formula type object. And we can do this using the else formula function. Regression functions like uh, LM, which you use for linear regression, require a formula object to specify the model. So let's just quickly pipe this into the else formula function. You can see it has an environment now which shows you that it's a, a formula type object. Let's just quickly save that as mod formula. Okay, so we now have the data in DF mod and a model formula in mod formula, which is all we need to run the regression model. Uh, let's do that and save the result as an object called mod. So we have mod lm mod formula and data equals DF mod. Let's quickly just call summary mod to see the results. So we've got an intercept, a coefficient for cognom verbal and coefficients for the other control variables. Now this mod object is quite complicated. It's got the data that we use to run the regression model and lots of other extraneous information. Really, as I said before, we just need the coefficient for cognom verbal and some of the related estimates like the standard error for that uh, coefficient, the p-value and the confidence intervals. To extract just this information, we can use the broom package. Broom is another tidyverse package, but it's not a core one, so it needs loading explicitly. So library broom. Broom contains a set of functions that extract model information and put the results into data frames, uh, which makes it particularly useful to work with. Um, Sorry, uh, we're going to use the tidy function from Broom, which takes a model object and returns a data frame with the, code, uh, the coefficients and related estimates. So that's tidy mod. I'm also just going to specify the confidence uh, argument uh, to return the confidence intervals. So when we run that back, uh, you'll see it returns a tibble with a row for each of the different coefficients of the model. So we've got one for the, conf uh, the intercept, cognom verbal, and the three different um, control variables. This is still a bit more information than we need so let's first use the filter function uh, to get just the row for the cog file that we're interested in. So we can pipe this 
open to filter and we can do term equals spec cogvar. There we go. Uh, it's also got a bit too much information in terms of the number of columns. So let's just use the select function to return just those columns that we need. So that's the estimate, the standard error, the p-value, the confidence intervals, comp flow and comp high. Great, that's everything we want. Uh, so in a few lines of code, we've been able to take a spec ID, use it to prepare data and run a regression model and then extracted the appropriate results. Let's turn the code above into a function now so that it can be reused. Uh, let's call this function getLM and it will take a single input spec ID. So we do get ln uh, function and then we'll just name the particular argument uh, that we want, single argument called spec ID. And I'm just going to copy and paste this stuff from above um, and put it straight into the get along function. I'm going to tidy this up a slight bit. So I'm going to rename the result of the tidy function as ret. I'll put a return statement in as well. I'll remove summary mod because we no longer need it. I don't need this uh, bit about loading library glue and using the X's so I can get rid of that. And also the stuff where I've just repeatedly called on spec. Okay, so let's just save that as get LM, and then we can uh, have a quick look at whether this works. So let's just run uh, get LM1, and we got the same result as we had before, so uh, an estimate of 0.1969. Uh, uh, we can also just change the input to 15 to get the result of the 15th row, so now we've got 0.48. Great, and there you have it. That's the results for the first specifi uh, specification in the 15th. In the next video, we'll see how we can uh, concisely run this code for all the specifications in our specification grid. Thank you.